recent events over on the EW livestreams kind of lead me to believe that there may be another great one coming to uh, Call of the Wild. In the most recent stream, they're kind of talking about some potential upcoming content, and they really like to use the word great in that particular stream, so I believe they may be hinting at something, and even if they're not, I still wanted to get out here on Rancho and continue with our second Great One grind. Whether it is kind of like trying to get that out of the way before another one is released, or if it's just an excuse to come out here and continue with it, I think it's going to be a good thing, and ultimately, I've lost count of how many Whitetail we are into this grind, but it's probably in the area of six or 700, and eventually we gotta get this done, so whatever the reason for coming out here, we'll take it, and we'll see what we can find out here on Rancho today. And we are just diving straight in with this particular spot and discovering a new zone, but there's three bucks over there, and this is a spot that I think we probably should kinda change up our setup. I mean, a tripod right here would make sense, and we have a tent just behind us, so I may go ahead and do that. We've just started hunting this lake a little bit differently, and I kind of lost where all of the deer were, but let's try to get the big one first, and then we'll see what we can do. I think we actually got all three. Not too bad. That can be tough when they're all split up like that, but anyway, real quick, we may kind of edit our loadout. I have the 16-gauge shotgun today, just on the off chance that, especially in areas like this, a maybe level 3 rabbit or a rare one would run by. But I think we'll just focus on the whitetail and go ahead and carry tripods. That spot, it's easier to kind of start here. So if we have the tripod, then we don't have to worry about how many deer we shoot. So I think that's going to be enough room. We can grab that, and we'll be set up for our future runs. I think that should work just fine. And as I mentioned, it really is just diving straight in, starting over here. In fact, I see a couple of other deer, one nervous buck, which now that we have the tripod, we should be okay to try to get it. I'm not sure where he spooked from. But I think that shot is going to be good to bring him down. And I don't see any others immediately, so... Oh, there's one back in there. Another pretty good one. I don't know where they're hiding at, but the one good thing today is that we do have the 22. I think we're going to need the 22 strat here. Okay, we actually got that shot between the trees. I was worried the trees were going to catch it and not let our shot get through. Tough spot to try to bring one down, but hopefully that's going to be a vital. And I still think... Because we're in the tripod, we should be good, but now we can fast travel over and start to claim. Actually, even though we're in the tripod, that did delete the zone, but I'm going to hope they maybe come back in the same place. We just set up a tripod, and as I mentioned, it was kind of like relearning this particular spot. So if they go back to normal or if we have to relearn it again, it's not going to be too big a deal. But this is more so what I was getting at when I said that we were diving straight in. The amount of deer the drink over where we just were is insane. And that's kind of why I was saying about we had to relearn how to hunt this spot. If we start over there, kind of shoot these deer and then fast travel to go claim them, all those spawn in and we can go ahead and shoot them as well. And I actually don't know. I guess my tripod's way back there. So maybe we'll go and use that. We got to claim all these deer first. I don't want to have too much hunting pressure and lose track, but... I saw some decent looking bucks in there, so we'll have to take a look. Real quick though, we had our 210 gold in there. I think other than the second 85 to 100 that we shot kind of further back in, it was the only kind of decent one. And maybe from this side, we can see a little better. I think there's just a couple of real nice twos. Nothing that should be in the kind of diamond range, but lots of bucks over there to choose from. So quickly then, our other max weight estimate buck was a 223.9. Not too bad in that left lung shot through all the brush. 258 meters away, actually. Definitely did the job. So now, we're going to have to check and see the range. It might make the most sense to set up another tripod. We'll see what we can do here. I mean, yeah, they are, even from there, a good 250 meters away or more. And our other tripod is way back there, so... Good thing we have them. Just gonna be an opportunity to kind of help out our setup. That should not spook them at that range. It looks like they're all kind of just staying there. And in the ideal case, I think we should reload. We can maybe get three bucks, a fast travel back, and we might be able to hit a couple more as they flee. So I'm not gonna worry too much about which particular bucks we go for. We just wanna make sure we get some bucks. So maybe 
Gonna be a kind of gut shot on that guy, but should be good there. Picking which one to go for when there's so many in that spot can be real tough, but the way to kind of do this ideally in my experience is to fast travel back to this tent. They're essentially going to be running right past us, and that's fine. We're not going to worry about trying to shoot them right here. They're going to kind of run around this edge, and I can show it's just kind of like right through here. And when they do that, that's when we can go ahead and get our shots. And by the way, always nice to just claim a 216 that we shot in the intestines, kind of as expected. One was mating calling somewhere. But yeah, we'll kind of let them around this corner, and if we can get two or three more of those bucks, that'll be a bunch more for respawns. One is way over there already and nervous. Not my best shot, but I think that's going to bring him down, so we'll let that go. I'm not sure how they got so far ahead of us today. Usually it's a little bit kind of closer shots, but I mean, we can make do. That is one that I wanted to get if we can. It's getting kind of into the brush. I don't think that shot hit him. We can try maybe one more. It's a little more open on this side. I saw that level one as well. Still kind of going. They're all hit at the very least. It's probably going to take a little bit of tracking, but that's not going to be the worst thing in the world if that guy wasn't stuck directly behind some brush. Okay, literally all four of those shots were too far back, but I guess one kind of advantage is they're all trying to run the same way, so we should be able to almost like track them all at the same time, if that makes sense. Basically, because we know where the last one we shot was, they were all trying to run along that same path, and we can pretty much just kind of run towards it. And they should be essentially kind of all in a line across there. And it may take a bit of tracking, but eventually we should find them all. And we may actually end up running into some other whitetail. In fact, I think I heard one going through the brush a little bit up ahead of us. I guess it didn't come our way, but something to be on the lookout for. There is, in fact, but it's just a doe, so not one to worry about as much. We are actually past the position where we shot the last deer so we may want rascal's assistance because the last track is going up the hill in fact he's laying right there so good to know and that might help us in finding our other buck then or this is our other buck so i guess the one that we ran by is the better one and we know he was intestine hit as well but i guess we can kind of backtrack a little it would only makes sense that our biggest buck ran by far the furthest. I wouldn't be surprised if it was the worst shot. In fact, so far back on that one that it was just a flesh hit. So now it all kind of makes sense. But I guess in the grand scheme of things, if we're going to mess up shots, probably best to mess up the ones that are just gold. But real quick, we're going to go back and get the, I think, other two that we dropped here. And then we can finally start to make progress around this lake. I will say the tracking definitely slowed us down. So not our best run through, especially for this spot, but lots of bucks down at the very least. One that should make gold. 226, actually kind of a cool way. He was just starting to turn what we shot him. That looks cool in the harvest screen. And then a 153.5 silver. There are still a bunch of areas around this lake where whitetail can spawn and drink. So we'll continue our way around. Actually, got a couple running over there. Must be due to bobcats. I mean, be kind of, I would say, uh, inefficient to not shoot bucks that are just out there in the open. So, if any of them give us a shot, ooh, that might have been a little far forward. We can get that guy. This one actually didn't hear it. So, we can bring him down as well. I like how we're doing just fine out there at 300 meters. And now we're going to go all the way back. Unfortunately, no tents. So, uh, guess we're gonna run it but like I said wouldn't make sense to you just let them walk really so a couple more down and actually the first shot on this guy was good enough guess the angle kind of helped us out but I do think maybe this will be a good point to kind of from here on out not include the claiming of every single buck it'll just kind of keep things short and to the point so you can know that we're going around and claiming every deer I think by now especially making that run over to get those couple of bucks and uh, yeah, we'll still include the probably gold or better. And ideally, they're going to be a good number of them. But starting from here, things tend to get a little more difficult. It tends to be kind of picking up tracks and potentially shooting running deer. But especially how long this run has been at this lake, 
I think we'll actually try to take our time through it a little bit and then likely reset the time back to the beginning of White Hill Drink Time at the end just because I don't think we're going to make it to the other lakes in time. Looks like only two kind of average size bugs over in that area, but again, two that we can take out quickly. And for once, we're not just spooking these deer and trying to hit them on the run. Kind of taking our time and getting out to where we can see into that zone definitely helped us out. For the first time in a long time, this spot might not actually even have a max weight estimate buck. It's got a lot of bugs, which is good, because the last time we came here there weren't that many. But it's kind of a bunch of average ones, and it's this little zone right in here at the Bosque Alto Lake. And there are a couple of other areas around this lake that spawn bugs, so I'm not too worried about the overall quality. But interesting to see that kind of happen, because it pretty much has always had 85 to 100 bucks, and it's in fact the only place that spawned a level 3 for us. One that was a troll way back at the beginning, and then another one that made diamond. And I think every other diamond in this grind has been, that was unfortunate, a level 2. That buck just completely skirted our shot by scooting to the side, but there are a couple of other ones we can go for. Maybe, I don't know, it's gonna be tough because that one's back behind. I guess we'll get him. Maybe that one, and unfortunately we guessed wrong about what way that guy was going to go. Might be able to, depending on the direction. Kind of hit like a shot like that. Those two hits will bring him down. So we can go and pick all that up and continue. And by the way, I only backed the time up an hour. So it's 9.30 in game now. I think that's going to give us enough time to get around to the remaining spots. Hopefully anyway. So our last spot for Bosque Alto, and we've got a decent buck in here. It happens like a pretty high percentage of the runs where we'll shoot one buck, it seems like that's it, and then another one runs out of the brush. And like back where that doe is hiding, I could definitely imagine a buck being in there and being pretty much completely invisible. So we'll take that shot, we'll actually get our binoculars ready, and we can at the very least kind of watch and make sure, but maybe for once, we got the only buck out of there, so I guess that's good. We don't have to make any running shots. Looks like a much better start to the La Hacienda Lakes. Got one 85 to 100 buck, and then another just kind of small one in there as well. And the other thing I would say is that it seems like the kind of cluster herd we had here has maybe kind of dispersed a little. Because we've had in the past, like, I don't even know how many deer in this area, a good 30 or 40 all right up by the tent. And there's just a couple here, so either we spawned a little closer or the deer were a little closer to where we spawned this time than normal, or they should be maybe spread out more around the lake and no other bucks are running off that were in the brush. A lot of times, yeah, we can see some over in there. Don't see anything huge right off the bat, but we can go and give it a look at that area. And then I don't know if any are spawning back here. There's a tiny little pheasant. Yeah, we'll have to kind of figure out where they are here. Well, we can see what's over at the far zone now. I think three pretty tiny bucks, so we can do our best to get all three. It's going to be a little bit difficult due to the angles, and the fact that we don't have a tripod probably doesn't help us here, but we can sort of see. I think the only way, though, is going to be like a neck shot on that guy, unless... What if we kind of scoot over, like as far as we can to where that tree won't be blocking us. That should be doable. I still don't know that we can get all three, but it definitely gives us a better chance than trying to make a 300 meter headshot. So that'll be one, maybe two. And I think we got that one good. So the only question is, did we vertebrae shoot that one? And I would say we did. It's gonna bring him down. But uh, other than that, not too bad for a less than ideal situation. And by the way, I still don't know where the majority of our deer around here are. There's a good chance that there's more like around this edge. I don't know where else they've been spawning lately though, so this is kind of different. For now though, a couple of bucks down a little 134 obviously, and our big guy to start out the stake at 212. At least one kind of max weight decimal, and we've seen less of those on this run than probably any other thus far. And I wouldn't be shocked if there's a bunch kind of hiding somewhere. One just 
comb kind of coming in over there. That might be part of our issue. I do think we have our answer as to why a lot of this lake seems so empty. I don't actually remember deleting any zones at any point, but apparently they've kind of moved into this one area, and for whatever reason they're starting to sort of move around as well. So, I'm pretty sure we hit another doe. I don't know for sure, but something kept our shot from hitting that smaller buck, and I don't even know if that was the one we were trying to shoot at, but I mean, I definitely don't mind if we end up in the long run deleting that particular zone, so we'll take shots at whatever bugs kind of present them. They've done a pretty good job at getting back away from where we can see those, so not going to be the easiest job. I'd love to know where we hit that guy. Unfortunately, he's doing a pretty good job of avoiding our follow-up shots, too. Absolutely tiny pheasant back there, by the way, but... I think that should delete the zone. I think we got four. And uh, maybe four future runs they'll be a little less hidden. So I think two bucks left to claim here. A 181 and then one more that we got that ran, I guess, a little farther this way. There's another buck fleeing, though. So we can try to hit that. Uh, definitely work. One of our better on the run shots today. But the zone has been officially deleted. So. I don't even mind if they end up in a plus or zone somewhere else, but that was about as bad a spot at this lake that I could think of for them to end up at, so hopefully it's going to be better for future runs. And I think, I was trying to remember back, this may be the only run we've done, at least like in a video or a stream, that didn't result in a rare or diamond. I know every stream has gotten at least a diamond level 2 or a rare, and I'm pretty sure the past videos have had pretty much the same, but I know a lot of people kind of were reporting finding a lot of nothing before they got their great ones, so maybe that's evidence that we're actually getting somewhere. Who knows, but definitely got a bunch of respawns. In the long run, it's got to be some amount of progress towards getting to that goal. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.